Okay, so in this video, I'm going to try to get this uh, Sprite to shoot a missile. So, um, I'll just move the Sprite with a drag. So the first thing I want to do is I want to drag the Image Sprite Fighter and set its current X. I want to do a move to um, current X, current Y. And then when that guy drags, you have to drag the missile with it. But um, This guy should always be offset so that this missile is in the middle of the ship. So you're going to have to find out where the center is. So if my ship is, uh, let's go find out the dimensions of my ship. My ship is 48 by 48. So the middle of that is 24. This guy, I believe, is 16 by 16. So the center of it is 8. So um, so if I do 24 minus 8, I'm plus 16 to the right. So this should be plus 16. Okay, so first thing I'm going to do is pause right here and see if this works. Okay, so this works perfectly. That's right in the center of it. All you got to do is do the math and do a little bit of logic and figure out where the center of your object is and where you want the laser to be, and you put it there, okay? So um, next thing I want to do is, um, I guess I have a fire button in here, yeah. And I want to go ahead and click the fire button, BTN fire, click. And when I click it, I want to give my missile, um, I want to give it, I want to set it pointing towards a target. And I want to set its heading. And I want to set its speed. And its heading is going to be heading 0 is to the east, 90 is north. So I'm going to set it to 90 degrees. And I'm going to set its speed to like 10 frames per stack. It's going to be pretty quick. Okay. And I'll just set this up as like 100 right now. And then you have to have the, the missile reach an edge. And if it reaches edge one, that's the top. If uh, the edge is edge one, if it reaches the top, then reset it back to um, the position of uh, the image fighter. So the missile X and Y, you're going to reset the X and Y of the missile to be that of the sprite. And then that's plus 16.
and this is the Y, and the Y is the Image Sprites Fighter Y. Okay, let's go. Okay, so I have a problem, and the problem is, is that when I put the heading to 90, I didn't start my sprite out correctly. So I need to edit this with GIMP. I'm going to open this this sprite up with GIMP. And I need to know that the direction of 0 degrees is heading to the east. Because when I make it go north, then it and go to 90, it's heading up. But it's facing to the left, which is wrong. So now you got to fix that in GIMP. Um, so you have to know that your headings start out east at zero. Okay, so you just do trial and error and you figure this out. I'm going to right click, image, transform the image, and I'm going to rotate it 90 degrees to the right. So now, this is zero degrees, okay, and I'll show you this again. Um, image transform. If I rotate it, this is 90 degrees, okay, and if I transform it again, This is 180, so 0, 90, 180, and then image transform, and this is one more time. This would be 270, and then you're back to 0. So I need to start this guy out at 0. Um, so I'm going to go File, Export As. Uh, my missile, okay. I'm going to replace my missile, export it, and now I'm going to go into my MIT app. There it is. Now it's facing to the right. That's starting out at zero. I'm going to go into my designer, and I'm going to replace this missile. You're like, Mr. Ricker, it's facing the wrong way. I know, but when I give it a direction, it has to go to that direction. Very intuitive, and you got to figure this out, okay. So now when I run this, it's going to head 90 and go up at my speed that I want. Okay. All right, so I'm just going to have some fun here, and I'm going to see if I could do it by timer and make it travel. So I, if I put a timer in there, then I can have it control, um, you know, I control the speed by timer. Okay, so I'm just going to play around here. This works, by the way. Um, and I don't know, maybe maybe you wanted to do 10 here. 10, I think it's 10 pixels per, per second. Okay. Um, but now let's do this a different way. Let's go ahead and put a timer in. Okay, and um, we're going to add a timer. There it is, clock fire, and and then when we cl click the clock, when we hit the button to fire it, we're going to start our missile fire. So you want to enable your timer to be true, and then we're going to we're going to put all this um, inside of our timer. Okay. So you go up here to your timer event, and then you want your missile to move. So um, we're going to say, I want my missile to um, head 90, and I want it to move to. I'm going to do a missile move to. And I'm going to say I want it to move um, the missile is going to keep its current X value. So it's not going to move off the X. It's going to go straight up. So when it's going straight up, it's only moving in the Y direction. So you're going to go to missile move to and we're going to set its Y. And you're going to go math, and to go up, you have to subtract. So we're going to go y is equal to y minus, uh, I don't know, let's go like, uh, uh, I don't know, one pixel. All right. And then when you reach an edge, okay, 
then if the edge is equal to 1, then you want to reset it back to here. Okay. And, um, yeah, let's see if this works. This is working very nicely, and now all you have to do is just go and play with these numbers right here. So there's 20, 20 um, pixels per for whatever my timer is, okay? And then if the edge is reached, you can reset it and then you can turn your timer off. So where's my timer at? Here you go. Duplicate this. And then just go to false. Boom. Boom. So now, do you guys see what I'm doing now? So now, if it hits, I can fire it again. You with me? So that's working perfectly. I like the timer shooting a little bit better because now you got more control and you can play with it and just get it exactly the way you want. Okay, so the, yeah, this is working perfectly here. Um, this is how two ways of doing the fire missile launch. Okay, so keep calm, code on, and enjoy missile launching. Launching.